When a landmark looks like nothing most people have ever seen before, it can mean wildly different things depending on who's beholding it. For tourists, it's a sight that they have to see up close and soak in every vivid detail. For those who have lived in that land forever, its importance runs a lot deeper to the point of becoming sacred. And for those with scientific and opportunistic minds, it's a treasure trove of mysteries that promise big rewards. And in the hunt to unravel the secrets of one completely unique Canadian lake, all of these different people have held their own pieces of the puzzle. Before we start, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. According to the CBC, Spotted Lake in the Okanagan Valley of British Columbia, Canada looks very much like any other lake in the region during the winter and the spring thaw. But even in a frozen, this doesn't seem like a lake people see just anywhere. Because even during the coldest times of the year, it's not hard to see how Spotted Lake got its name. But while the lake is a little unusual in structure thanks to those circles throughout the body of water, that's not what makes it so world famous. According to Atlas Obscura, Spotted Lake doesn't give the impression of consisting of one all-encompassing body of water because it's really a series of pools. Specifically, there are about 300 of these pools in all. Nonetheless, the CBC report is correct that once the ice melts in the spring, it becomes a lot harder to notice these pools. But once the summer hits, they're even more obvious than they are in the winter. As the CBC reported, Spotted Lake looks a lot different in the summer than it does in the spring. Because once the summer heat causes enough water to evaporate, those pools become the only standing liquid left in the lake. At first, it's not clear how those pools have even managed to gather what liquid they have. That's because Spotted Lake mostly sits in the desert, and according to the CBC, there's no river or creek that it drains from. And when one looks closer at those pools, they'll quickly notice the wide array of colors they can show. As the summer progresses, the pools present themselves in different hues of blue, green, and yellow. So, with no connection to any other body of water, it's hard not to wonder how the spotted lake is never completely dry. Yet, while it's true that the lake doesn't have any rivers running through it, there are a lot of mountains nearby. Although Spotted Lake appears landlocked, it still finds itself filled thanks to the runoff from the nearby hills and mountains. As the snow melts each year, water flows down and collects in the basin, concealing the 300 pools anew. The CBC explained that when that snow melts and runs into Spotted Lake, it carries the minerals and salts that have gathered on the mountain with it. And since those minerals were on the mountains for hundreds of years before they drifted down, Spotted Lake is definitely rich in them. According to Atlas Obscura, Spotted Lake is particularly rich in calcium, magnesium sulfate, and multiple sodium sulfates. And among the other minerals that exist there in smaller qualities are trace amounts of silver and titanium. According to the CBC, whether a pool will turn out blue, green, or yellow largely depends on the composition of the minerals that have gathered in it. Of course, it takes a little more expertise than many of us are equipped with to identify that composition just by looking at them. When the weather was hot enough, visitors to Spotted Lake could walk among these mineral pools on the dry patches between them. But aside from the unpleasant smell from the lake's sulfur content, there's a reason why that isn't so easy to do anymore. According to the Okanagan Nation Alliance, Spotted Lake is recognized as a protected heritage site for the Silks Okanagan Nation. As such, the area is fenced off to discourage people from wandering into it uninvited. According to Atlas Obscura, Spotted Lake has cultural significance to Native Americans in both Canada and the United States. And since it sits on tribal land, visitors are advised not to trespass. As such, most people who visit the lake will be restricted to a view of it from here. For them, Spotted Lake is known as Kali Li X Eli and they've seen its natural, mineral-enriching processes go on for thousands of years. Indeed, those salty pools in Spotted Lake have been gathering their mineral resources since prehistoric times. While they might have put it in different terms, the presence of those minerals wasn't lost on the ancestors of the Silks Okanagan people. For them, Kaliskest was considered a sacred, medicinal lake. For them, Spotted Lake has a similar restorative reputation that the famous spring in Lourdes, France, does among Catholics. In a 1979 statement relayed by the Okanagan Nation Alliance, the nation's chiefs and elders said, "...there are many stories told by our ancestors about the cures this lake has provided physically and spiritually through its medicine powers. 
The CBC reported that the First Nations to walk the land weren't able to keep Spotted Lake's significance secret forever, because there have been some key periods over the years where its minerals have been dredged up for manufacturing purposes. In most cases, those looking to extract Spotted Lake's minerals were doing this for a reason that wouldn't surprise most people. Likely familiar with the lake's medicinal reputation, some collected the minerals for spa treatments. However, a much greater dredging effort that came during the 1,910 seconds was undertaken for a widely different reason than anyone in the Okanagan Nation would have intended. To understand what was going on, one must understand that unlike the United States, Canada had entered World War I as soon as it started due to its closer ties with Britain at the time. So when the minerals in Spotted Lake were dredged up during the war, they were put towards the foremost purpose for what was supposed to be the war to end all wars. In other words, the CBC noted that they were used to make ammunition. Although Spotted Lake has long been recognized as a sacred site for Canada's First Nations, that didn't necessarily stop other interests from dredging it up. However, that finally changed in 2001. As the new millennium dawned, the chiefs of the Okanagan Nation Alliance were in talks with Canada's Minister of Indian Affairs and Northern Development, and by 2001 they would reach a deal that would ensure Spotted Lake's cultural importance remains respected. And according to the Okanagan Nation Alliance, that deal saw the group purchase Spotted Lake as well as the 56-acre area around it. After all, it isn't just the lake itself that makes the area significant. The biggest sign of Spotted Lake's historical significance among the First Nations can be seen in the fact that it's surrounded by rock piles called cairns. These cairns typically mark graves, which makes the area surrounding Spotted Lake an ancient burial ground. According to the Okanagan Nation Alliance, more of these cairns exist around Spotted Lake than any person can count. As the aforementioned 1,979 statement noted, some of these are so ancient they have sunk underground and only their tops remain above ground. Some are buried altogether. According to the CBC, the CLX people have worked to restore and protect the Spotted Lake area as both a culturally and ecologically significant site, and it is only with their permission that the site can be accessed nowadays. Not only does that mean that nobody else can legally develop on the land, but it also means that the Seals people aren't likely to do anything of the sort either. As the Okanagan Nation Alliance noted, this is because their main goal is to preserve the lake as it is for future generations.